Hey, it's Will of Will's Garden, and in this video, we're gonna go over size matters. But first, we're just gonna note that all the totes are equal, and we're gonna go ahead and open the valves so that way we're letting out the water. So, size matters. The container size that you're using for your rain barrel matters. You know, 55 gallon drums, IBC totes, 275, 330. It all matters, and so does the size of the plumbing you're using. And I just wanted to do this video. I went ahead and stacked water on top. This is our high flow kit. This is our regular flow kit. Now, under normal circumstances, you're leaving all your valves open and the rain's coming down and it's all leading to the bottom tank. Sometimes if you're in an area that gets downpours and you're gonna go through the water really, really fast, you're gonna want the high flow kit. As you can tell, it's really moving down. We're down to about there. This line right here represents where it was and that's how fast the standard flow is going. Under a normal drain, that's plenty. Um, we use the garden hoses because they're you know, very easy to work with and the flow rate for most people is plenty adequate. Most people are not needing to be able to drain at that kind of speed. A lot of people find rain barrels are totally good. I do recommend larger, especially if you're not watering more than just like the side yard here at our garden, at our um, factory, you know, where we're building everything. You know, you might uh, need more storage depending on in your area, how long you go between rains, more storage, the better. I just like to point out that the garden hoses will do the job, especially if you don't get crazy downpours, because you gotta remember, for this thing to overflow, first 275 gallons have to come down all at once, because, you know, I've been talking for two minutes now, and, you know, we've gotten a solid transfer. Yes, this tank has transferred faster, but it might just be overkill. All your fittings, on a bigger kit, this is one and a half inch, are gonna cost way more than a 5 8 garden hose kit. Nothing lasts forever. You're gonna to have to replace things over time. You know, I don't drive my pickup truck to the grocery store. I take my wife's car. You know, I don't need an eight lane highway if there's only two cars on the road. You know, you build to the amount of traffic you think you're gonna get. For most people, this setup is totally fine. It's draining well, it's going well. I just wanted to show you this real quick. It's roughly 60 gallons of water. Um, you know, it took three minutes to basically transfer all of that out of this tank. This is still going. So I just like to point that out. You know, size does matter, but when it comes to linking and everything, if you got a moment, you're totally fine doing it with garden hoses. Okay, so we're setting up for the experiment and you'll see I'm filling the top tanks and from the bottom tanks, which are linked together through the linking kit. And just wanted to show you, they both start out at the same level. And yes, the primary tank is a little lower than the secondary tank and how full it is, but not by that much. So it's primarily pulling from this tank but it's constantly self-balancing out too, because as you can see, I've put a good bit of water in the top tanks. So the balancing kit does keep up pretty well, considering it's just going through a garden hose and I've been just running it flat out to put water in these top tanks. So it, it, I just finally shut it down. It's been a continuous pull.